we're here again. We're here. We're fucking here again. <laughs> As we all know, I have a fucking shopping problem. I didn't say hi. Hey pals! <laughs> so here is another haul. F fuck me up fam, I even wrote a list so I could just do it, get it done, you know? Yeah? Got my t-shirt by the way. I sleep in this, by the way. What, what happened there? I sleep in this mostly, but I thought you should see mood today, mood for the day. So let's just go. Um, I bought a shirt and a pair of trousers in a charity shop. I have a couple of pics of me trying them on, so I'll put those in too. But here is the shirt with like a little ram here. Looks like a, a noseless ram, it's very weird. Um, but it's kind of like one of them ugly but cute shirts. And it's the same with the trousers. It's like ugly cute, but fuck me up fam, I'm gay, so. So that was 450 and I like her. It fits quite nicely. Boobs aren't an issue in this shirt, like it fits quite nicely. And here are the trousers, which fit all the way up until the waistband, same. But these are a really beautiful pair of ugly pretty tartan trousers. And they look fucking cute with the ankles rolled up and they are the official Edinburgh collection made in Scotland, like actual legit tartan so that excited me these were four pounds so i was just kind of like fuck it i'll get them if they don't fit then i won't be that mad still kind of mad though we're gonna see what i can do about that because it is literally just the waistband like they even zip up but the waistband doesn't <laughs> and then i went to super drug this is not in chronological order this is just the order i fucking wrote them in so there we go um, and I got more of my brow pomade, Revolution Pro, bitch. Um, and I use dark brown. My throat hurts. Help. Um, Cause I'm actually quite low. So I was like, fuck it, it will go on my list of things to buy and I'll probably lose it before I finish the other one. Um, I think that's five pounds. And I, but I think they also do like, you could buy three for 10. I was just like, that's too many. <laughs> That's too many. I also bought the, this deflating, like Rennies, and they're actually really good. It's, it's for trapped wind and bloatedness. But like, if I have like a really, if I have a, like a flare up, if I've eaten something dodgy or, or I don't know, we don't know exactly what happens, but they are one of the only things that helps the extreme and very painful bloating I get with a flare up so highly recommend these boobies next up is holland barrett i went in there for castor oil didn't see it anywhere saw all the other kinds of fucking oil but not castor oil so i ended up buying other things because this is me i bought this dead sea mineral face wash and i actually tried this out last night same it's deep pore cleansing um, and it's good for oily combination blemish prone dry and sensitive skin so like all skin types and i can confirm as someone with a super sensitive face um it did not make my face go up which was nice but it also cleaned my face well like i get i need to exfoliate my face regularly because my skin's real dry and it's not nice um but my face felt nice after this so th this was cool i don't have anything else to say really it was kind of expensive though but, but i have a problem no boundaries um and then i also bought this thing it's the same brand product i don't know so it's an organic dead sea mineral eye rescue roller ball for puffiness tired eyes dark circles and fam we know i have dark circles and tired as fuck eyes um i haven't tried this yet i forgot i was going to this morning but i didn't this was also very expensive this was ridiculously expensive for the size it is but i wanted to give it a go and i don't care about money apparently <laughs> i don't know how much they were because the receipt said the same thing for both products except the code was a different number 
but it doesn't correlate with anything to figure out which one was which and they were like so close in price that I couldn't fucking <laughs> so I don't know they were like eight or nine pounds it's the best I can give you um but I also bought some tea tree oil because like I don't really have a huge issue with spots I don't really have a huge issue with spots I don't really have a huge issue with spots but I do sometimes I get them especially like on my cheeks and like around like my lips sometimes. So I wanted to just start maybe using some tea tree oil mixed with a little bit of water to fuck them bitches up, you know? And this was 4 89 Basically I was going to get another roll-on type of thing because I have one already where it's like a roll-on tea tree oil and this one I saw was tea tree and aloe but it was like four ninety nine or something for less products. So I was like, if I just get this, it'll probably last a lot longer because you have to dilute it anyway to put it on your face. Like 10p cheaper, so, so I got this one instead. <coughs> oh, a bitch, I don't want to speak anymore. My voice hurts. Ow. And then I also bought some vegan, vegetarian food snack thing because I'd, I'd be trying. Uh, one of them is, um, uh, I don't know how to say this, a Vego or a Vigo, I'm not really sure. Um, I kind of want to call it Vego because it's the really fucking ugly. <laughs> and this was 2 19 for this small bar, which is a lot, I know. But it's like a, it's like what Cadbury's do where it's like meant to be milk chocolate with hazelnuts in. And I still haven't found a decent, like, vegan milk chocolate. Because all the milk chocolates just taste like dark chocolate. And then dark chocolate tastes like dark chocolate. <laughs> so everything tastes like dark chocolate. So I just want to try it out. I might actually try Let's Let's try it on camera, shall we? If I can open it. Oh, it's in like really big break off pieces, right? Actually, that's pretty close. It was a lot closer to milk chocolate than anything else I've bought. Mm -hmm. Turn this into ASMR. That would be a good idea. Oh my God, I should do that. Let me know if you think I should do an ASMR video of me trying veggie and vegan and lacto-free, whatever, friendly food products and giving a review on them. That would be sick. I should do that. I kind of wanted to do some kind of ASMR thing since I got this because going up closer really sounds different and I, I'm really tempted to try it out. And just like, fuck me up, fan, you know. <sighs> yeah. That was just like sneak preview of what you could be watching so yeah no that was sick i'm very excited about that it's expensive as fuck for the size it is but you know when you're a sweet lover like me and especially chocolate you just kind of got to do it sometimes you know and moving on to the other thing so I, i'm not like a huge marshmallow fan anyway but fucking love me some marshmallows on some hot chocolate and now i've got some hot chocolate that doesn't fuck me up I finally found marshmallows that don't have gelatin in. It says vegetarian marshmallows, egg and dairy free, gluten free, gelatin free, no artificial flavours, soy free and so it's free of everything so they eat the vegan as well which would be cool. Mini pink and white vanilla bites. Like they had a few different like types. I think they had just white ones that were vanilla, they had pink ones that were strawberry or they had pink and white that were vanilla. So I said that one. I don't really want strawberry marshmallows on my hot chocolate because that's the only reason why I would have them. Oh, they're mini. Oh my God, they're tiny. Oh my God, same. Oh, 
See, they literally taste the fucking same as marshmallows. Why... Why are these so hard to find and expensive to buy? They literally taste the fucking same. They're just sugar. They're just soft, squishy sugar. I don't get it. We then had to go to this, like, other pharmacy because all these other shops I went into didn't sell castor oil and I was expecting it to be, like, one of the little ones, like, you know, like the tea tree oil. I was expecting it to be, like, this big and maybe, like, a fiver. Um, so this place did have some and it's this big <laughs> and it was less than a fiver. It was, uh, 4 25 I'm shaking. Like, I'm really shook. So this is just pure castor oil, a moisturising oil to help hydrate the skin and hair. And yeah, that's basically it, fam. I bought it because I want to try and make my eyebrows naturally bushier rather than... Yeah, spoiler, my eyebrows are drawn in. <laughs> Not that funny. But yeah, I want them to naturally be more bushy and I'm making a video on that for more deets. Um, I want to see if this is a true thing that castor oil makes your eyebrows bushier. I, I want to like, I want to debunk it. I want, I want to show you guys if there's any fucking difference in a month's time. So I've started using it. I'll let you know. And then <laughs> we went to Mountain Warehouse as our last stop because my mum wanted to replace her walking boots and shoes because that's what she wears to walk the dog and they go on caravan holidays and shit and like when you walk around these places it's like you know fam walking like actual the british version of hikes um and don't fucking ask me why but i bought a pair of boots and with my mum's discount, they were twenty nine seventy four. I don't have them yet because they didn't have the size I needed in store. Um, so we had to, we order them at the desk, and they're gonna come to my house. So I'll show you at some point. You know, fam, they'll probably turn up before I post this video. So, <laughs> but I don't I don't know why I fucking I don't know why I fucking bought them. I don't walk. I, I guess maybe because buying them because they're all they're boots. Um, one of my biggest issues with walking is my ankles and my knees. Um, my ankles are quite weak. They're better than they used to be because I worked on them a lot. It's like what a lot of people say about buying like nice looking new workout gear that it makes them feel better about working out or more likely to work out. I'm kind of doing that. I am basically going to be buying new workout gear in general as well when I can find some and have the money. But like that was, that's kind of what I did with these boots because they're quite nice boots. They're like grey black. I am really mad though, because I am like, I'm a weird size. I mean, I'm sure everybody has this fucking problem where depending on where you go, depends on your fucking shoe size. It's like close, right? Like I'm measured at five and a half, which is an annoying size to be anyway. Or am I gonna burp? I think I might burp. Uh. Gotta get it in there, you know? For <laughs> branding so i normally try on a five first because sixes will basic will fit me a six will fit but i need to know if the five is too small because sometimes fives are too skinny sometimes fives are too short um but basically there was also a pair of kids boots that were like cuter than these ones they were like all black and i really liked them and they were also waterproof and they were 10 pound cheaper like fam but they only go up to a five but the kids five and the adult five literally fit the fucking same. They were too short. And I was really upset that they didn't have a kids, like the kids don't go up to six. Like I, like I just missed out on slightly nicer boots that were 10 pound cheaper because my feet are slightly too long. I was really sad about that. I'm over it. And then with any purchase, oh my god, I am crying. Same. <laughs> maybe I, maybe I'm more emotional about that than I thought I was. Um, yeah, with uh, any purchase, you can also get walking socks, half price or something. And again, with my mum's discount, they were even cheaper. So we estimated they were about four twenty-five, like four pounds twenty-five p. You know those fucking horrible tag things that keep socks together? I fucking hate them. Why do we still use shit like this? I've pulled about four out of these fucking socks. 
anyway um stop being angry so you get a set of three same because <laughs> you get a set of three pairs of walking socks all in different colors and they have this really cute color scheme which is very me so we've got a nice gray we've got a nice midway kind of a bit greeny turquoise ones and then we got the light minty ones with some gray in um and i love them uh and i also think that because like the six was a little bit wide of my feet because i did try six in the same boot just a different color that these socks will also help the shoes fit me properly so i needed them really didn't i oh um, and that was it that's everything i bought i did it again ah! so tired <laughs> i can't stop i don't know what to do um help me go to my depop because i'm poor and i'm selling things that i bought and didn't need but yeah there we go that was that <laughs> ah! it'd be great if you left a like fucking leave me a comment telling me how dumb i am for doing this to myself again just just do it roast me please and i need someone to tell me i'm out of control um and also it'd be nice if you left a sub sub like left a subscribe same it would be great if you would subscribe to my channel because i promise i'm funnier than you think i am it's worth it i promise same that's been in shot the whole time same <laughs> please there's only so much i can beg please and i'll see you guys next week bye